Graham, talk me through this um, this Viper grinding process. What, what what is it? How does it work? Well, again, adding to our portfolio of what we're doing at Wimbro, it now brings a grinding process to the company as well. The process of Viper grinding is effectively it's what we call creep feed grinding. So effectively, the, the technology on here is taking a grinding wheel with a specialist gearing in the head to be able to feed on and feed off of a particular product uh, with very, very high pressure coolant, which is with uh, guided veins as well. So effectively, we guide all of the coolant directly to the cutting edge. And these machines from Wimbro Technologies, they're made here in the UK. There's quite a bit of history behind them. and In, in fact, history that, that I've known quite a bit about in my machine tool selling days. Yeah. Um, the, the technology is quite something and it's great that it's made here in the UK as I say and now yeah. something that ETG can offer. Where's your market? I mean we see making turbine blades here but beyond that maybe? Well I think where we see it is obviously as, you, as you're right it's, it's predominantly been used in the, the aerospace industry for producing the, uh, the fir tree roots for turbine blades that's predominantly where that's been used. But where we see creep feed grinding now with our uh, other uh, technologies around medical industry as well, there's a lot of product there that is a very lot of clever grinding processes that we think between the laser techniques and the grinding techniques really gives us a major sell to offer. Grinding's about surface finishes and precision. Yeah. What's in these machines that make them achieve those things built in Colville? Well, I think the thing is, obviously, to be able to grind to the sort of tolerance level and surface finish requirements, you've got to have a very, very stable platform behind it. Uh, and obviously, these guys, well into the machine tool industry, know exactly what the characteristics of high precision comes from. And that's all into the construction and the heavy duty size of the machine, including the big slides, the big head. Uh, all of that gives that rigidity to be able to produce those forms. And I think it's clear that um, Wimbro the Wimbro Group has been supplying these machines into OEMs yeah. for some time, very successful at it. And I mean, yeah. you know, some facility here that we didn't even know about. Where does ETG fit with this though, Graham? Where, where, how are you going to broaden the horizons and where will they fit beyond the markets that we've said? Well, I think that's obviously the clever bit that we've got to add to this, this whole process is where Wimbro have had a particular technique that it's been very successful in is for us to be able to see the windows of opportunity outside of that, where we're being actually asked from some of our customers, can we offer grinding, how we can actually look at certain processes for themselves, that actually we think the FGC would actually be a really, really good solution.